today I'm going to teach you how to draw a hamburger. So first step is to draw a curved line near the top of your page. <coughs> You're going to draw a slightly curved line upwards for the top bun. From there, you're just going to plan lightly where all the layers are going to go. And the bottom bun will go next. So I'm having the buns pressed down heavily in pencil and then a light sketch of the toppings. The first topping I'm thinking of adding is a squiggly lettuce layer. And you don't have to do this one first, but as you notice, it's a little bit scattered throughout and it's just giving a playful effect. The, after that, I'm going to draw the cheese slice, curving it down, putting a patty. After that, maybe here I'll scatter some tomatoes, a few slices of tomato, another cheese, some lettuce, other ingredients such as pickles, another patty, some condiments like ketchup or mustard, and after that, you can add an oval for the plate. I'm just gonna draw some squiggly lines for some warm fries, overlapping a few lines, not worrying about them being perfect. Adding the rest of the plate, maybe the dollop of ketchup is there. The final touch are the sesame seeds on top. Perhaps you want to put a little olive. You don't have to do that part. And then some, just some crumbs on the side and a tabletop or just some sort of pattern back there. Whichever line you like the most, you can keep, and the others you can get rid of completely. I'm going to draw a napkin, and maybe in the background, a drink. A drink that goes with a burger, which might be a diet soda, lemonade, and a straw. And then I'm trading my pencil for a fine outline marker or pen, making sure that it's a thin enough point to get the job done. So we'll have the start of that outline happening next.
So as I was outlining, I outlined the smallest things with the fine tipped outline marker and I chose to trade for a larger chisel tip outline marker to go around one side of each object to give more of a shadow effect on one side. Once you've outlined, erase all pencil lines and then it's time to color in your drawing. Remember to use lots of different colors to blend to give that varied look to your illustration. Watch as I fill in mine by blending markers, crayons, and colored pencils. But remember, you don't have to use all of those materials. Use what you have and see what you can do with the colors around you. I look forward to seeing your hamburgers and I wonder what you'll put on the plate next to them. See you in the next drawing video.